So uh, this car was brought to me to diagnose it's not driving properly. And after scanning the vehicle, I found out that I'm not having any communication with the transmission. And the engine reported uh, no communication with the transmission. So lost communication with the transmission. So what I'll do now is, uh, as usual, I'll test my fuses and check the power and ground on the transmission before I wheel it out. So let me see. When I came to my wiring diagram, I'm going to check this fuse in the fuse box, and which is fuse 38 and fuse 58 and 60, because the car got bent, and I've seen that this sensor, one of the speed sensors, got bent. So at least maybe it's shot to ground and it blew up this fuse. So what I'll do is I'll go and check the fuses and see if I'll be able to communicate with the transmission but before that I'll after the fuses then I'll check the power and ground and check the can high and can low and see if everything is working so we'll do that check so this is the AT transmission fuse fuse 10 and the key is on so we'll check if yeah that means the fuse is on so what i'll do is i'll take this thing off the ip md out and check. so this is the transmission there is the transmission fuse so i'll check it up and if still it's, it's not working then i'll speak to the client that i have to check the control unit if the control unit doesn't work then it has to be replaced so i'll do that and i think this one so this is the middle three that's the middle three so the thing so this thing for i've seen that they've joined it so you can see that 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 fuse has been replaced, so I'll check it if everything is okay. Then I'll speak with the client that we have to change the control unit. So, after checking, you can see there is scan communication on the system. And let me go to can low, and you can see the can low on the system. So, that means we have to replace the control board. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll speak with the client to change the control unit. So now, after replacing the control unit, so this is the one that got damaged, lost communication, and this is the one that fitted on the vehicle. So this is a used control board. So I'll turn on the ignition and see. So at the moment you turn on the ignition, you can see the parking is on and the neutral, the parking switch is working. So now I'll connect the scan tool and see if I'll be able to communicate with it. So now I'm able to communicate with the vehicle and I'm having four codes in the transmission. So you can see transmission is communicating now. So I'll check the fourth code and call it a fix. So pass, 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 current, only one current. So I'll clear the fourth code and call it a fix. And there is no fourth code. Now we'll start the vehicle. Because I've taken out the map sensor, that's why he's behaving this way. So we'll fix it.